Today I'm gonna to share with you three steps for taking great drone photos for beginners. And you'll wanna stick around to the end of the video where I share one mistake that you'll wanna avoid that all new drone pilots make when taking photos. Let's get started. All right, let's dial in your camera settings. First things first, go to your flight screen. At the bottom right hand corner, you have multiple options, storage, format, exposure, and auto. Go ahead and tap on format. You'll see two options, JPEG and JPEG plus RAW. For beginners, just simply go with JPEG. If you do the JPEG plus RAW, those RAW files are huge compared to the JPEG files. And until you're an advanced photographer with drone, you may not use those RAW files. And then they're just sucking up all of your memory, your storage. So I would recommend just doing JPEG. Go ahead and exit out of that by tapping on the main screen of the flight screen. Now on the right hand side, you'll see again, about middle of the way, you'll see your white shutter button for your photos. Now below that is a play button and to the left of that is your option for autofocus and manual focus. I would tap on that and make sure it is set to AF autofocus. Now above the white dot, your shutter button, go ahead and tap that. It's gonna give you options for your different photo uh, settings, formats. There's single, there's 48 megapixel, which those are huge files again. And then there's AEB. That's an automatic exposure um, option. And I would definitely choose that. Now, when you choose AEB, make sure it's set to three and you'll get three different photos. Every time you click that shutter button or tap the shutter uh, icon on the screen, you'll get a current exposure. You'll get one uh, reduced exposure and then you'll get a one increased uh, by one exposure. So then when you go and download all your photos, you just simply pick the best of the three, which I think is awesome. Next step for your camera settings is the top right-hand corner, those three dots of your flight screen. Go ahead and tap that. And that's going to open up your safety, control, camera, transmission, and about. Tap on camera. And now you have quite a few more options. Mm, honestly, you can keep most of them just at the factory default that it comes from DJI. But I would definitely, uh, for the first option where it says size, I would definitely have it on four by three. That's gonna capture or show you everything that the camera sensor is seeing. If you do 16 by nine, it actually punches in on what the camera is actually seeing and crops out some of the left and some of the right. So that's just a good tip. Now, as you scroll up, there's a couple of settings I do want to point out to you. The grid lines, I like to have uh, the center dot and I like to have the cross grid lines so that I know my uh, point of focus or my subject is exactly where I want it. And the only other setting I would mess with would be your overexposure setting. Where it says overexposure warning on the screen, make sure that is clicked on. On to step number two, setting up the shot. First things first, let's pick our subject. For today, we're going to do the bridge out here in Kybers, California. All right, now as you can see, I feel like we're too close to the bridge, so let's back it up just a little bit. Let's get some scenic views in front of it and behind it. That's pretty good, not bad. Let's go off to the right here. Okay, that's too much in the dark. Go off to the left. I think that's a pretty good shot right there. Not bad. You don't want to be dead on with that object. You want to go either up or below it just a little bit, and you'll get better perspective and it's more interesting shot. So we'll take it up a little bit. There we go. Looking better. And now in order to pitch or tilt your camera down or up on the controllers, both the RC and one, the traditional controller that we're all used to, as well as the brand new DJI RC controller, you actually have these toggle wheels that are up at the top of the controller. This left toggle wheel is actually going to allow you to pitch the picture, uh, um, the camera down and up. So right now we're going to go ahead and aim it down a little. Not bad, that looks good. I like that. Go a little bit further down. 
maybe come up a little bit more altitude. And I'd say that's a pretty interesting shot right there. Now let's talk about correcting for overexposure. On the bottom right hand corner, again, where we did the JPEG adjustment, where it says storage format, exposure, EV, and auto, tap on the EV for exposure. We're gonna dial that to zero. And now we can see all these zebra lines on the screen. That is telling you parts of your photo are gonna be overexposed. They're gonna be blown out and just look super bright. So in order to correct this, we're gonna tap on the EV again and we're gonna dial down the exposure. We're gonna reduce the amount of light that's coming into the camera lens or sensor. So we'll do it one at a time. And you'll see the zebra stripes are going away a little bit at a time, a little more, a little more. 1.7 is probably gonna be good. Maybe, oh, there's some on the bridge. 2.0, 2.3, whoa, negative 2.7. I'll be honest, I feel like that's too dark. So I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna allow a little bit of zebra's stripes to be in there. I think 1.3 is gonna look good for me. Yeah, I would say 1.3. And there, our overexposure has been corrected and we're ready to take our photo. All right, on to step number three, taking the shot. Now, whether you're using the RCN1 controller or the new DJI RC controller, the options for activating the camera shutter are exactly the same. So both controllers have a button at the top right hand corner to operate your shutter. You can just click that and you're going to be able to take your picture instantly. The second option is going to be using your DJI Fly app and that's going to be on the right hand side. Again, the shutter button or icon is the white circle. You just simply tap that and take your picture and it's done. All right, so the one mistake that all new drone pilots make when taking photos, they fly way too high up in the sky. You're so far away from your subject that you lose it in your pictures. So don't be afraid to fly too close to your subject. You're gonna find your pictures more interesting and enjoyable to look at, and so will others. Now let's talk about filming with your drone. You can click or tap over here for the next video where I share with you three ways to make amazing drone videos for beginners. Oh, done. So hot. Let's go swimming.